Thanks for watching this week's Poly Talk. I'm Lindsay Palego with your World Report. With our focus on blogging, I'd like to bring attention to a particular blog focused on internet censorship in China today. The blog, greatfire.org, has been compiling data on blocked websites and searches in China since 2011 and sharing this information with their followers in real time. Great Fire refers to the Great Firewall that currently controls censored inter internet content in China. On their FAQ page, the anonymous blog creators were asked what they were trying to accomplish with their blog, to which they responded, our goal is to bring transparency to online censorship in China. Now covering over 10,000 URLs, I would say they are certainly doing a good job of meeting that goal. Last Wednesday, when an estimated two-thirds of China experienced an internet outage, greatfire.org was able to update the rest of the world on what was happening and archive the event for the public. It is thought that human error caused millions of Chinese internet users to be redirected to an American company's website aimed at selling anti-censorship web services. Each time an internet user visited a .com, .net, or .org site, they were instead brought to the DIT homepage. Although it is possible this is the work of hackers, it is likely that the incident was caused by human error when the Chinese government attempted to block the site. The outage was one of the largest ever in China, and thanks to the power of blogging, the rest of the world was able to monitor the entire event. If you're interested in learning more about internet censorship in China or the theories behind the outage, you can follow Great Fire on Twitter or visit their blog and blue Google Plus accounts. While limitations on free speech in China are nothing new, many people don't know about the internet censorship that occurs in the U.S. Although the First Amendment enables us to post and view most material, internet in the U.S. is highly regulated. Most regulation occurs privately and involves removal rather than blockage. Thankfully, U.S. regulations aren't too strict, and you're all able to access important websites like TigerTV.tv. Make sure to check it out for daily updates, streaming, and more from the Tiger TV staff. That's all for today. Back to you at the desk.